Hey guys, my name is Joey Thomas, entrepreneur and small business educator here with 17 Hats. Today, let's talk about setting goals as a new business owner. I know that setting goals is one of the most crucial thing that I have done as an entrepreneur. See, when, when you're wearing all 17 hats of your business, getting even a single thing done can feel like a huge achievement. And you know, we deserve every little win that we can muster. See, some of us has kids like myself. Some have multiple full-time jobs or part-time jobs, so while some could have multiple businesses that they're trying to run. See, given that time is the one resource we can never make more of, we have to learn to be more efficient with the time that we have. So today, let's discuss goal setting and how you can be better at it in your first few years of business. See, goals, guys, they provide direction, motivation, and a clear pathway to move forward, okay? So without goals, we tend to chase the next thing, putting out the next fire and finding ourselves perpetually behind on all projects. It's easy to get into a rut for years before realizing that you are still where you started or maybe worse. See, my favorite tool in setting goals was actually created way back in 1981 by George T. Duran, who published an article called, There's a Smart Way to Write Management's Goals and Objectives. It's called SMART Goals, S-M-A-R-T. SMART Goals was written as a tool to create criteria to help improve the chances of reaching a goal. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, time and Time-Bound. Let's say that again. Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, and Time-Bound. So we will go into each one, and, and this is just to help you write down some goals and making sure that the goals have the elements and the parts that you need so that it can be successful. So the first one is specific. It's the who, the what, the when, the where, the which, and the why of your goals. So as I go through each one, I'm gonna use a, an example, right? So let's let's use um, an event planner, someone that does corporate events or parties or galas and things like that. And this event planner has a goal. They have a blog project. They want to write a blog to feature 12 of the most influential female business leaders in the local area. Um, it can be it's going to be focused on making an impact on those who are giving back to the community. So that's the event planner's goal. It's this blog project about influential women. So I'm, I want to be very specific. So I know that this will help some of these small business leaders bounce back after the pandemic. I also know it's going to help uh, motivate other businesses to give back. Now, what do I need? It will require a questionnaire to be sent out, interviews to be scheduled. Uh, I might have to hire a photographer, possibly outsource some of the writing to a blog writer. Now, given that I have to be as specific as possible, I, I have to think about what tools and how do I actually begin. Now, personally, I would begin by setting up a questionnaire through 17 Hats and integrating it in a simple workflow. This will help me keep track of who did my questionnaire already, who have I interviewed, and who I have not, right? So the next one, so that was specific. The next one, it has to be measurable. You want to be able to measure a goal by time, by quantity, um, if, if it's a product you're selling, by profits, or just benchmarks along the way. So let's think about this, this blog project. Um, I want it to be measurable. So, so maybe as an event planner, I, I would say within six weeks, I'd like to have completed at least four of my interviews and blogs. Maybe I'd like to have these published 
and drive traffic to these blogs through other partner businesses. I might also want at least 500 views on each blog uh, within the first three months. See, those are measurable statistics. Those are measurable things I can use to know that I am on track. Okay, the third one is achievable. So we did spe specific and measurable. Third one is achievable. This is something uh, we tend to forget. Do you have the skills and the ability to make this goal happen, right? Or beyond just actual skills, does your mindset, do your current mindset allow for you to make this goal happen or to fulfill this goal? See, a goal, it's meant to motivate you. It's meant to build your confidence, to move forward. It's not meant to discourage you or to set you back. So you have to make sure that you have the necessary tools to make it happen. Now, if you don't have the skills, right? If you don't have the schools or the, the, the tools, sorry, not schools, the tools, can you get it? Or can you outsource? Can you help uh, maybe, maybe get some accountability maybe maybe talk to someone else a mentor to change your your current mindset about it right um, do you even have the business contacts let's say if you're doing this blog do you have the business contacts in order to even um, reach out to people you know do you have the workflows or the documents or any kind of system set up to seamlessly send and receive these questionnaires or schedule the interviews right um, so you have to ask yourself, do you have the tools? Do you even have the time or the ability to write the blogs or should you outsource? Or can you learn to write these? See, that's, that's just checking, are these things achievable? And if they're not, what do I need to do to make them achievable? So specific, measurable, and achievable. Okay, the fourth one is relevant. So. I have a project, I'm an event planner. Let's say I'm an event planner and I have a project. I have to ask myself, does this project fit with the broader goals of my business? Is it consistent with the vision of my event planning company, right? Now, um, so if I'm writing a blog, I have to ask myself, is this blog relevant to my goals? Will interviewing, other influential female business leaders help me increase my client base for event planning? Will it establish credibility as a planner? Um, or will I even create meaningful connections through this process um, or through this project? It's, it's important to know that if I'm doing anything extra, is it relevant? And the last thing, it's time bound do i have realistic timing for my goal what can actually be accomplished do i have target dates for deliverables or a completion date right so if a goal takes six months i need to have a goal post mile markers that mark my progress. So if I have a six month goal, I might need a monthly mile marker or a, or a three month marker to make sure I'm making progress. So for example, again, in this blog project, if I wanna have all 12 posts done within six months, I might need to check my pro uh, my progress bi-weekly. Uh, because if I can finish and publish one blog every two weeks, I am on the way to my goal, right? So that was the being specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Use those five tips to write down and accomplish any goal. I love the SMART tool. So I hope you guys can use that for yourself. So I have just three final thoughts about setting goals. Really, <clears throat> we're not going to always make a every goal. We're not always going to achieve every goal. There will be stumbling blocks along the way. That's okay. Try to push through those failures because when we keep focused on where we want to go, 
it'll help us overcome those failures and just get up again, right? That's the key. And it, it's just as much as we should know which times we need to push through, which times we need to get up, sometimes we also need to know when to let it go. That's just as important, just pruning some things off the list because maybe it's not right at this time. Another thing is, you know, get accountability. It's really hard to run a business all by yourself. So get some accountability, bring someone else in on the plan. You can use social media and post something about your goal or maybe even have a friend or a colleague join you in your goal. And, and also reward yourself. Reward yourself along the way. Uh, from small wins to big wins, find a way to validate um, these goals and to reward yourself along the way because you deserve it. We should celebrate our wins um, because, you know, we have enough failures and we're always aware of them because they cause the most stress. So make yourself aware intentionally of the wins that you have by rewarding yourself. So in conclusion, guys, you know, I want you to know that goals are something that end at a destination, right? It's, it's when you achieve it, it's done. So goals end at a destination, but growth is a journey. So all in all, no matter what you're doing and the goals that you're setting, just commit to growth. And goal setting will be a natural part of that progress. Well, thank you so much, guys, for hanging with me today as we talked about goal setting. Hopefully, I was able to help you just a little bit. Use the comment section below just to ask us any questions. Let us know if this helped you any. Click that like button if you like this video and subscribe to the 17 Hats channel. Thank you again, guys. My name is Joey. I will be back with more videos just like this. See you next time.